yeah! Give it up for Anthony Cat for everybody. Learning oh. a song in 42 minutes. Oh, man. That was amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I learned it right was, before. Yeah, right before it was exciting. It was uh, uh, Kids in the Hall uh, uh, theme song. And, yes. Uh, yeah, the band we're going to be talking about today. Very cool. Uh, shadowy men on a shadow planet. Yeah. Very excited. Very excited. Um, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, we'll definitely get into it. How's your week been? You been good? Yeah, my week's been good. I've been, um, I'm just still working on a, a new album. So most of my time is uh, spent not talking to anybody, just alone in a room uh, recording uh, new, new stuff. So it's yeah, nice are you, to be. Do you have like a ritual? You like turn all the lights off and stuff? Actually, yeah, I was in the dark up until five minutes ago. <laughs> I, uh, you just like I, play in the dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I play in That's the dark. Fun. You know, I mean, it starts out. You know, it was the afternoon, so it was it wasn't uh, it wasn't as dark. But yeah, I yeah. leave all the lights off. It's a, you oh, kind of very set the it's mood. funny how I just felt that you did that. That's, that's how <laughs> that's how good a friend I am. I know I know my people. You know, Eddie Murphy. That's how he used to write material. He would. Uh, oh, yeah lock himself in the dark and uh, a pitch black room and then just start talking to himself. And that's how I came up with material. Oh, was, yeah, I don't know. well, me and Eddie Murphy, we have that in common. Um, yeah, I'm a in public guy. So mm -hmm. I'll just be talking to myself out loud, doing bits. And so I fit right in on Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, some, <laughs> I'm just like a crazy guy talking to himself. <laughs> so, so, so it's just like everybody's like, hey, are you are you crazy? Nope, just a comedian trying to work out a new <laughs> just bit. Just working it out. Just yeah, just working it out. But I, I do that a lot. I'll catch myself. And it's funny when I like see somebody that I know and, you know, from afar, you don't know I'm working out a bit. You're just saying, oh, shit, Dustin's crazy. Yeah. And you're just like, they'll be like, hey, you know, like, hey. And then I got to be like, no, no, no. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm working out a bit, man. I didn't really <laughs> think I was talking to myself. Like, I'm working out a bit. And uh, I talk to myself a lot. I got. I have to slow down. I have to give yeah. myself a time out from talking to myself. Like, uh, uh, it's weird when people catch you because you're just like, I'm not crazy. It's just I'm flushing it out, bro. Like, even regular stuff, you know. I rehash... Um, you know, arguments I wish I would have had with somebody. <laughs> oh man. Every single day of my life I do this. Sometimes from years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Things I wish I had said in the moment. I mean, I feel yeah. that's what stand up comedy is. It's like it's you're you're basically making it the moment you wish you had. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's yeah, it's like a lot of times I was like, Yeah, I'll tell you in another thing. You know, it's like just a weird <laughs> thing that we do sometimes. That's funny that you do it too. We are just cut from the same cloth. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, man. I you know there was a had a good week. You know, on um, uh, we did our first um, new time slot with uh, sets with Dustin Chafin. That's our new uh, Twitch stand up comedy show. And uh, if you guys it, you guys like me and Anthony and you know Leah Bottom is hilarious and Nick Novicki, we got a lot of funny comics. Check that out. That's a great show. It's a new time slot. We used to do the last Zoom show on Thursdays. But check us out on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific and 8 p.m. Eastern. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's like it's comics doing raw new material. It's a lot of Anthony's doing songs. It's a good time. But check that out. Anyway, and uh, up top, I talked a little bit about Disneyland. And, you know, it was Leah's birthday. And so I got tickets to see the Struts. And they oh, were yeah. going to be in Anaheim. Um, and uh, it was like the, you know, you ever like, once in a while, you plan something for your girl, like a, or your boyfriend, whatever, like a birthday that's like the most amazing birthday ever. Like you, you just, I somehow, I, the whole thing was we were going to Anaheim, we were gonna see the Struts at the House of Blues, which is a cool place to see a band, and yeah. then you know we stay. I got a hotel, and then we we're gonna wake up and go to Disneyland, and like that was the weekend and it's like you know you can't get much better than that except the struts canceled and no, so <laughs> what? because of covid or oh, some bullshit man. i guess the drummer got it or something so it, it was oh, i mean drummers disneyland's a good backup so we had to, you know we we had a great time we went and had you know we just went to a nice dinner and you know and just uh woke up went to disneyland it was a really good time and um you know disneyland's way more fun when you don't have kids I feel like you could really kind of zero in on what's cool about it instead of like, hey, you want to you want to you want a ten dollar, you know, soft drink and a cotton candy. And we were actually eating cotton candy. That was a funny thing to be like in our 40s, um, technically over. But we were just like eating <laughs> cotton candy, like just like like we were seven years old. It was great. 
And um, but yeah, so it was a good time. But the Struts, they uh, they rescheduled, so I'm going to see them uh, January 25th. They're coming oh, back okay. to Anaheim. So so yeah, I was pretty pretty pumped to see them. And because uh, actually Adam and Jeff got me into them, and you know they've been they've been a band that like it's like one of those bands like we're both into. You know, me and me and my girl, which is tough. Do you do you have a band that you and your girl both kind of really dig? That you yeah together? we uh, we liked this band called Cheek Face. Chick face. Cheek face. Chick face. Okay. Like, oh, a, cheek. like your cheek. Like cheek. Like, like your cheek. cheek. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, uh, tell us about they're them. Pretty, they're sort of, um, the singer does a lot of this kind of uh, talk singy type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like kind of, um, you know, it's like indie rock uh, with these kind of absurd uh, talk singy vocals. Okay. Yeah. You and I did a talk singy. Uh, two tracks actually. Yeah, we did a, we yeah, did a yeah. country version and we did kind of a post-apocalyptic version <laughs> so, <laughs> during the quarantine. <laughs> and they're both on streaming services. <laughs> they are. Check them out. Yeah, I'm having. You know the problems you're having with Spotify and the problem with Sound Exchange. I'm like, where's my money? <laughs> yeah, are you get you're getting radio play, right? <laughs> yeah, but I haven't. You know, it's this. The whole thing is a racket, man. They really just like. I don't want to go down something, but it's, you know, <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. It's like, you have to like, you know, they have to like stay on top of it. And then it's like, you know, you gotta, they, cause you know, then my label said they were playing it on Sirius and then it's like sound exchange is not taking it in yet. So I don't know. It's a whole thing. So if you guys yeah. want to Venmo us at Dustin dash Chafin, uh, this is Anthony and I could use the money cause our, our yes. albums are not getting the money they deserve. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> check that out. So, uh, yeah, today's fun. I'm excited. Um, you know, um, I'm, I think I pride myself in picking good themes for the month. You know, yeah. uh, last month we kind of had a goth Halloween thing going. Sometimes we had American songwriters, you know, things like that. Um, and this week, we, uh, this month, we're doing instrumentals. Um, music that uh, doesn't have vocals. And so <laughs> it was any genre, really. And uh, so these are my random pulls. Um, this first one here is, uh, you know, a lot of people, when they think of jazz, you know, they think of, um, you know, basically like Miles Davis and Charlie Parker. And so Coltrane. This is, uh, yeah, Coltrane. Sonny Rollins is fantastic. And this is a really cool album. You know it's a good album because I paid 40 bucks for it. So uh, <laughs> That's the test. <laughs> yeah. How good Any, is it? Anything is over $40 that's used, you're like, that's, that's a quality album. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they, they always get you with, you know, it's like... Um, it's like the black uh, silver print labels. Like, really? Is that what I'm paying $40 for? Um, but this is great. This is, uh, you know, the bridge, uh, Sonny Rollins. It's a studio album. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, Charlie Parker, uh, he kind of kind of winged him a little bit and kind of came on mm-hmm. and did some jazz trios with him. And actually, Miles Davis was a big fan of Sonny Rollins. And so it's like oh. once in a while you'll have like people that inspire people. And, yeah. um, you know, this is definitely one of those guys. He's still alive. He's like 91. And oh, uh, he's still playing I, I, I saxophone. Don't know his stuff. Nice. Yeah, what, Sonny let, Rollins let is great. Sonny, Sonny Rollins. Rollins. Yeah. I'm Not gonna, to be I'm confused with Sonny Liston, who fought Muhammad Ali. This is hmm. Sonny Rollins and Sonny Rollins. Uh, The Bridge. This is a great album. If you see it on vinyl, it's worth some money. It's worth at least 40 <laughs> bucks. So pick it up. <laughs> Get yourself $40 richer. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to start selling albums. Um, I'm going to, we're going to, we got a Patreon coming guys. Uh, Dustin's vinyl Patreon. All the money is going to go to, uh, the crew here at Dustin's vinyl. And, uh, I'll be selling albums on Dustin's, you know, like you could get a free album if you sign up at a certain tier, that kind of thing. So we're going to, we're going nice. to really kind of have a nice vinyl community. We'd love it. It's only gonna be like five bucks and you could get like a higher thing and, we're going to have a good time. And the next album, um, I've probably covered this before, but we do some repeats here. But since we're doing surf rock, um, I figured uh, the king of surf rock, we, mm. uh, this album is fantastic. This is Dick Dell and his Deltones. This is, uh, this is you're not going to get a much better surf rock album than this. This is the greatest hits. That one is great. This oh, greatest great. hits, yeah. It's his greatest hit. So it's got everything. And uh, it's really, um, you know, a lot of you, if you, you know, Dick Dale, uh, the most popular is probably the Pulp Fiction intro. Yeah, and, I'm trying uh, to see if I know how to play it, but I don't know how to play it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I almost and, picked his first album. Oh, did you? For yeah. tonight. 
And uh, it's got a lot of good stuff. Peter Gunn, which is a great song. The kind of the ding, 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 you know, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, surf rock is cool, man. It's like it's definitely it's like sometimes, you know, it's like you want you want some upbeat, but you don't want something that's, you know, too much in your head, you know, as far as like lyrically and stuff. And it's funny with Leah. It's like, you know, my girl, she sometimes, you know, she doesn't want lyrics. Like she'll have a moment where she's like, I just can't have lyrics, you know, because she's trying to. <laughs> You know, because she's basically doing all the the stuff that I don't know how to do around the house, and so she <laughs> making phone calls and insurance things and things like that. And so, oh, yeah, you know, I, I guess also you don't know how, I don't yeah. know how to do that stuff either. <laughs> we really lucked out with women that still like us after we <laughs> they have to do the fucking shit nobody wants to do. But but I took I, I took her to Disneyland and was trying to take her to the struts. But we're gonna go again. <laughs> I'm trying to give her the best birthday and show her that I'm appreciative for how smart she is. Because if I do stuff like that, she'd be like, "What? We're paying." 10 grand for you know <laughs> car insurance um so uh yeah so that's you know dick dale king of um you know surf rock you know very influential guitarist um you know the beach boys uh the trash men a lot of people were influenced by dick dale and uh considered one of the fastest guitarists and that's kind of um you know pretty cool he's kind of the carl lewis of guitarists yeah um do you know who Carl Lewis is, Anthony? I've heard the name. <laughs> <laughs> He's a really fast runner. That's why that. That's why he would be the Carl Lewis, like really fast. Not, not nothing. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know, you take a chance with Anthony when you throw a sports reference out. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah. play on the 1993 <laughs> Yankees, I do not know who yes. he is. Yeah. All right. Speaking of the 1993 Yankees, uh, we're gonna bring in <laughs> our other host. Uh, Jeff is out playing a you know bachelorette party or something and so it's just going to be the three of us today which is great because we won't have to we won't have to hear anything about pat benatar uh being inducted in the (laughs) hall of fame we don't have to hear anything about the eagles so we're pretty excited uh adam holtz everybody oh uh, you know, nice. it's a hard. You know, you did it. You it's got us in song. there. You got it in there. What's up, Adam? How you doing, buddy? Hey, guys, doing all right. Excellent. You look great. You got a little sun on you. You've been out in the sun. No, I think no? it's just the light here. It's just your your ring light. <laughs> just this, yeah. Do you have shades on yours? I have like an orange. It makes you look a little tanner. Yeah, it's got a little soft See? box like on I look it. How, and, uh... Look how t- pale I am. And oh, yeah. then, <laughs> like here, I'm pale, and What's... then we do this, and I'm brown. Look at that. That's how it works. <laughs> That's like that's an nice LA color. shade. That's LA shade, and this is New York. I hate myself shade. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I've been taking the subway for way too long. Oh, yeah. Shade, and then we're like, "Hey, look, I got a pool." There we go. <laughs> that's behind the scenes, guys. This is how this is this how we tech it out here on Dustin's Final. <laughs> so, how you been? You're working, doing some tech stuff, doing some production work. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it was just cool, that. Man. Uh, Audible the last couple of days filming oh, and uh, cool. it's just been uh, it's been nonstop this week. But uh, you great. know you were talking about the struts and uh, the show getting canceled because of COVID. Yeah. Uh, me and Jeff had tickets to Rival Sons recently and that ah. got canceled because of COVID. Oh man, yeah, they canceled too. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Where were they going to be? Webster Hall. Oh, that's a great uh, place. Actually, I think, I think uh, so. The struts played recently at uh, I think it was Irving Plaza. Oh, so they and did, play. which would have been which would have been amazing to see. Yeah, but, uh, that's a great I think it was venue. Away then. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good venue. Yeah, Jeff was trying to get me to come to New York, and I was like, yeah, I got to I mean, it's, it was short notice, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, concerts. You take a risk, you know. It's like a lot of these bands. It's like you know, especially those kind of venues, you know, kind of slow. Oh, yeah. but, but with the struts, I think one of the guys got COVID, so he just you know. But apparently, they're back January twenty fifth. He won't have it anymore, mm-hmm. so it'll be in Anaheim. You want to come up, man? You should come up. Maybe you'll be yeah. working. Yeah, she can stay with me, sleep on my couch, man. You've been in my house already. You've met my dog. Yep. You know? yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone to a record store together. We're, we're, yeah. we're besties. Took a good trip yeah. down uh, Hollywood yeah, Boulevard. We did with my dog, and it was great. We had a good time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so come out, man. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the struts together. It will make Jeff really jealous. Yep. <laughs> and then Anthony oh. and Jeff can go see the Eagles reunion. <laughs> <laughs> you and I go see the struts oh, and him and Jeff will go see Pat Benatar at a hard rock cafe somewhere in Arizona. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pat Benatar puts on a good show though, to be, to be fair. Have you seen her live? I have seen her. Yeah. What? How come you've never brought that up after all the Pat Benatar talk that Did we've I had not? on the show? Oh, never. I, you've I, never I, brought I, it up ever. Why oh. would you not bring that up? That's just the know. kind of stuff you bring up on Dustin's vinyl. You bring <laughs> up the show that you saw when it, we're covering the people. 
<laughs> she put on a good show. I enjoyed it. Did she uh, play the hits? I mean, yeah, she played all the hits. Yeah. What's your favorite Pat Benatar song? Uh, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot is my favorite you, one. You don't know any of the songs. <laughs> like you would. Uh, the only reason you agree, it's like you nodded because then you remembered one of the songs. If I had just let you go, no, no, that that's you would have been much... like uh, living on prayer. You would have <laughs> had no idea. <laughs> I like that song so much more than her other songs that it's almost. Oh, now you're. I almost can't you. say that. Good that cover. I... Good cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's Love is a battlefield. One. That's a good one. Love is a battlefield is okay, but it's not. Uh, you, you know, it's like a ballad. Give me one Bro. more Pat Benatar song. I know you can uh, do this. You can do this. Uh, did she do the "We Belong to the Night"? I don't is that know. her? Maybe Jeff would know. This is the one time we're talking. See, I made fun of the fact we weren't going to talk about Pat Benatar. <laughs> I saw her live. He's not I, I like here, her, and that's where I we're like going. Oh, that's uh, yeah. "We Belong to the Night." I think that's the. We the belong girls and to Gloria. each other. Mm. Was that her? <laughs> Is that Pat Benatar? No. I don't know. I no, thought I it was. Don't think, uh... No, I don't think it's a better term. See, that's a problem with Anthony is, uh, and I have this problem too, but more so Anthony, he's a little younger and you just mix up like five people. <laughs> that's what I was saying last week. It's, it's easy to yeah. mix up like Foreigner and Bad Company and all those bands. Same with Pat Benatar. It's like they were like scandal, like that. She sounded oh, yeah, like scandal. S- scandal sounded like Pat Benatar. Warrior, right? Scandal did Warrior. And the Warrior. The Warrior. I used to love that song. Yeah, it's a, a good, good song. I had that on cassette. Not bad. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so <sighs> we did. belong to the night was Ellen Foley. Oh wow! What? Who is that? I have no idea. Who that is? <laughs> See, Anthony, you're just, just. What was the other Pat Benatar song that sounded just like that? <laughs> I don't know. You saw her live. Maybe you <laughs> should know uh, at least one other I song. I saw. Her, I was in high school when I saw her live. <laughs> Dude, that was like two years ago. You're a young guy. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you know, I don't think this this audience even knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, the Twitchers. Hey, Twitchers, we're talking about surf rock today. So if you want to like chime in, we uh, we got some good stuff today. And Anthony is going to be bringing in the album today. I'm so bringing it in. We're pretty nervous. Um, he's... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> but here we go. Let's see. Right. Oh, Aaron Foley. There we go. See, uh, we got the Twitch chat. Alan now, Foley. You're a little Alan. late there, but thanks for playing. All right. <laughs> Let's see, Henry Rollins, Grandpa, right? The Micro Machine Guy of Music. The Micro Machine Guy of Music is very funny to me. Oh, they're referring to you? Oh. No, no, Dick Dale. <laughs> when you were talking about how fast Dick Dale is. Oh, okay. Then so that- uh, Jay put in the in the chat that he's the Micro Machine Guy of Music. You remember Ooh. the Micro Machine Guy? Yeah, I think so, yeah. He, he was like, he's super fast. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. Super fast talking guy in the commercials. <laughs> I guess I don't. Oh, <laughs> give uh, us an example. Oh. What what does it sound like? Uh, I mean, I give you us know, a time I, frame. Give us a time frame. What is this? Eighties, nineties, eighties, 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 maybe into the nineties. Right, just give me a little uh, list. Come on, you need to work on your performing. Come on, what do you got? <laughs> well, he was he had the the voice like an auctioneer kind of guy. Oh, okay. you know. So he just kept. It was. I think he might have actually been the world's fastest uh, speaker. At the time, can I get a three? Get a three. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a one, and a one, but and all two. about micro machines. Okay. You know, I, I can't remember any of the terminology from the micro machines micro commercials. Machine? What's a micro machine? What are you talking about? They were like, uh, okay, so you the little matchbox cars. Yes, which I'm sure I'm sure you had. Yeah, um, I'll go get mine right now. Yes, they made little tiny versions of those. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yes. and you can hear it. Yeah. 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 It's a micro machine world. The micro machines collect them, raise them, trade them. And blue. Remember, if it doesn't say micro machine, it's not the real thing. Yes. So that's that's the guy. Nice. That that that's gonna cost Jay about three grand for using that. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch is gonna get a bill in the mail. Um, but yeah, okay. I kind of know what you're talking about. Yeah, you could back them. You could back them up, and they would go. Uh, I don't remember. Like little, I think they little, might have. The, the wheels would move. like you, you know what I mean? Where you back them up and yeah, they, yeah. they shoot. I had a lot of cars like that. I don't remember if Micro Machines okay. uh, specifically did that. but uh, Very cool. Uh, yeah. All right. That's cool. That's very yeah. exciting. So I, I got the reference. I thought it was funny. but Yeah, it is funny. Well, I didn't get it, okay? Grandpa <laughs> Grandpa Dustin didn't get it. <laughs> I, I tap out at Hot Wheels. Oh, Hot Wheels. I was trying to remember the name of them. Yeah. Hot yeah, wheels. they were just miniature Hot Wheels. Okay, yeah. 
I, uh, well, I had a buddy, his grandmother worked, uh, in, at Mattel. So he would just get loads and loads of Hot Wheels. And I would oh, just, nice. I would, I got to come clean with him one day. Cause I used to just steal all his Hot Wheels. <laughs> I, I still have some of them that I just totally ripped off. I would just go over there and just like these buckets of them, man. I was like, hey, we're not going to miss those. But, uh, yeah. All right, buddy. What do you got? Talk to us. All right. All right. So, you know, this is an instrumental uh, album. So I'm not going to say a lot because that would be that would be weird. Uh, so I'm that say joke this. fell flat. All right, I'm go gonna, ahead. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I, uh, this. This is a band that uh, was pretty uh, against being part of a corporate uh, machine. Uh, so it's odd that they would end up best known for a TV theme song. But uh, two of the guys, the bass player and the guitar player, uh, they grew up with Bruce McCulloch from uh, The Kids in the Hall. And uh, like, uh, I guess when he was starting out, I mean, uh, The Kids in the Hall were starting out, uh, I guess, college or whatever. They uh, they were all in the same city and uh, The Kids in the Hall would use their music before their shows. And uh, sometimes they would perform live and sometimes they just play something off the records. Um, so when they got the TV show, they just sort of said, you were, we're using your, your music for this. And, and so, so that's how that happened. Um, but I was reading, and I, I mean, I assume this is true, but I, I was reading interviews with them and uh, they were saying that they were touring uh, with Husker Du. And after oh, cool. one of the shows, this guy came up to them and he was like, hey, uh, I have a bunch of free studio time for you guys if you'll record a 45 and just throw my name on it, uh, you know, I guess as the engineer or whatever. So they recorded a bunch of 45s and having an average weekend, which is the Kids in the Hall theme song, was their first 45 and uh, I believe all of the uh, singles that they released using that guy's free studio time became their first album. Uh, I guess um, the album is is a compilation. So it's a collection of all of those singles. So it's not like an actual album, but it was their first full length. Uh, Savvy Showstoppers. And... Uh, I was reading that they uh, that they they did their own artwork and lettering and stuff too because they did some you know a couple of the guys did graphic design and uh, uh, one of their album not this one that we're talking about but they they did an album with Steve Albini who is one of my favorite uh, producer engineers who did In Utero and Surfer Rosa by the Pixies so they worked with him too he was a, a fan I guess of their of their music so um, what else what's the name That's, of the band. Uh, shadowy men <laughs> on a shadowy planet. Nice. Uh, and we're talking about savvy showstoppers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we set the you... band up top. No, we so did. I... We did. We did. I, we did. But I think nobody listens up top because oh, it's yeah. me, me trying to be funny. <laughs> sh- so that's what people men. tune out. People mute when I'm talking in the beginning. Uh, they only, they only, when you come in, they listen a little. And then when Adam comes in, everybody listens. But uh, <laughs> they all tune out when I'm trying to do the t- up top stuff uh great job anthony that was great um oh, thanks i feel like you uh yeah you you know you know a lot about the band it's a good band i uh, it's the first time i've um you know obviously i've heard the song from uh but you know it's funny i've always liked that song from uh kids in the hall like i feel like it's what really kind of uh, brings you in a little on that mm-hmm. you know with kind of you know they have the nice cutaways and stuff and then this song like you know really kind of kind of grabs you and yeah. uh it lingers out nice like it goes perfectly as you know theme music and stuff and that's i think that's why certain things really work with surf rock you know like with yeah. you know the beginning of pulp fiction and things like it's just like it it's really great. kind of it takes you it, it just it's a different sound that kind of it's almost mesmerizing you know it's like all the cool things that people do with surf rock you know with the reverb and you know it's a, it kind of has a middle eastern you know scale thing going on like there's a whole so many cool things with surf rock and this band is good it's uh, it's always cool like this band you could have said the 60s and i would have believed that you know yeah. that's when they came out like it's like you you can't really tell 
you know, you can't date surf rock really. It could be somebody, a band like the Caminos, you know, which is a newer yes. band. You could take, well, you know, you just don't know. The Straight Jackets. Yeah. Any of those bands. It's like, yeah, it's all that stuff. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really good, man. I think I, I, I drove it. Uh, I drove, I love listening to, you know, these, <clears throat> these in my car, you know, it's like one of those surf rock things. Surf rock's a lot yeah. of fun in your car. But uh, and in California, like it's a perfect place. See the palm trees and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, I enjoyed this album a lot. I thought it was uh, it was good. Um, you know, the only problem, you know, I might have with it is uh, it's very similar to a lot of, you know, Dick Dale stuff and, you know, a yeah. lot of stuff that's been done. I think it's hard to make this sound not sound like kind of those before. You know, I think it's just like I think they do a good job with a little bit of twist, especially on the. Um, you know what's it? What's the uh, new kid song? The kids, ha- kids having an average weekend. Yeah, like that. That particular song really stands out. It's interesting that that was their first, but um, single or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I think that song kind of has some different sounds to it. Sometimes I wish, you know, with surf rock that there, I, I would love to s- have somebody do more of a mishmash. You know, it'd be fun to kind of play with maybe a little different sound with that sound. Mm-hmm. Like when I, you know, sometimes you're just. You know, it's it's basically a solid groove all the way through, but it's but it's definitely, you know, it's it has its it's it's just a distinct sound that really, you know, kind of uh, it bleeds a little into the next, but it's still great. I think it's definitely great music. It's just like there's like, you know, would it kill you to just do one drum solo? You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know I forgot to I forgot to mention this, but uh, it might be related. Um, so the the drummer of the band, um, they used to or he. Uh, he so they all had a a different band, uh, you know, like more traditional with vocalists and stuff. And all their bands broke up. And the guy who ended up being the drummer was the singer of one of the previous bands, and he had never played drums before. So they they started playing kind of surf rock style because it was kind of easy, you know, yeah. you just find that groove. And uh, and then you know he he became a, a drummer. So so I thought that was kind of interesting because. Uh, he just ended up on the drums. Oh, very cool. Because there's no singer. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes. You just like, you kind of switch around. It's like in football. Sometimes you just, you know, they, they have enough running backs. Like, you're going to be a wide receiver, you know, like it, <laughs> same with the band. Uh, Adam, how do you feel? I, uh, you know, I uh, never heard of Shadowy Men on a Shadowy Planet before. And uh, same same thing with you. I, I listened to this while driving. Um, and I, I loved it. I thought this was a great yeah. album. I, uh, I never really got into, well, actually for me, surf music always just reminds me of Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, I, I just kept thinking the whole time. I'm like, how did I not hear these guys before? You know, they, they could have been on any of those, uh, um, you know, all those Pulp Fiction knockoff movies that came out in the nineties that were <laughs> trying to throw surf music, <laughs> throw different things in. But, um, Oh yeah, that's true. It was so many. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you get fooled also by malfunction when you were listening to it in the car? Uh, it was uh, the, oh, what was the, which one was that? Was it the bow so, thing? Oh, when it, it stops, when it stops and it oh, says, okay. uh, you know, please fasten your seatbelt. Oh yeah. 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 I thought that was weird. Yeah. I was like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I thought my car was like, something's about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I did. I'm like, look, I checked the airbag. I was like, what, what is going on? <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's cool, man. It's definitely, definitely good music. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's funny they call it surf music, but, you know, it's impossible to listen to it when you're surfing. Yes. Yeah. You, know, you, <laughs> you get your shit wet. So well, I- <laughs> <laughs> skateboard music might make more sense because you can kind of listen to stuff when you're on your skateboard. They uh, they had a song on another album that was called We're Not a Fucking Surf Band. Yep. <laughs> oh, did they? Oh, yeah. that's great. And uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, it said that they, uh, so originally they rejected being classified as a surf rock band. Okay. And then uh, it said later on they released a compilation bo- uh, box set titled, Oh, I guess we were a fucking surf band after all. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at a comment and, uh, oh, somebody's trying to make fun of my fedora. First of all, these aren't fedoras. Uh, these are Stetson uh, open roads. So, you know, this is a music show. We want to throw something musically at us? Cool. Don't make fun of my three hundred dollar hats. All right. Anyway, <laughs> it's like 
Not a fedora. Open road Stetson. Okay, why does that have to be involved in the show? I don't know. People, it's so it's so interesting how people just, you know, like they just say things to get you riled up. It's like, really, am I going to get mad? It's like it's just ridiculous. I'm a little mad because he called a fedora, but. Uh, <laughs> That's why I don't wear that's hats. A, that's a cheap that's hat. Why, yeah. I don't wear cheap hats. It's like, come on, man. It's, it's this beautiful hat. When I was in my twenties, I I, uh, I had a fedora phase, and yeah. uh, I've never one of my of, yeah one of my girlfriends at the, uh, my girlfriend at the time. She was like, "Nope, yeah. this is over now," and she made me throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never worn a fedora in my life, so it's like I hate it when people call us my you know whatever stupid. Give me some music stuff, guys. Do you like surf rock? Do you like this band? Do you like the song on Kids in the Hall? Talk to us. This is what it is. Oh, hats are too far. It was me, LOL. Okay. All right. That would think is I think my producer's trolling me. Yeah, that's nice. You can't you can't you can't bring people in with the intros you have and then troll me during the middle of the show when I'm ju we're just getting our rhythm. All right. This is this is a low end show, guys. So, um, yeah, so surf rock, you know, it's like, uh, get yourself some, um, Anthony, have you seen these guys live or anything? No, I, okay. so they, they originally, the original lineup broke up in, uh, like 96. Okay. And then the bass player died in 2001. They have, they've, they've reformed with another, uh, bass player in the last, I don't know, maybe last 10 years. Okay. Their, their stuff got uh, reissued, so they they did a handful of shows, um, you know, to to promote the the reissues of, okay. of the albums. But uh, I, you know, they I don't they didn't do enough shows. I didn't I haven't seen them. And '96 was yeah. When I was a kid. Can I can I ask you to kind of play it again? Can you kind of give us a little more of the groove? Yeah. So it's. You're our jukebox. What do I'm you got? I'm trying. Buddy? This it's really hard do to play best. the, the bass part, judge you. the guitar part, and the drums at the same time. Everybody watching this, all they can play is video games. So you're fine. <laughs> job dude to learn that like I'm in an trying. hour come on man that's it's really hard to play <laughs> that is amazing that is that's why we have you <laughs> you can do stuff i can't do like music stuff very cool yeah. all the instruments so, yeah it's very cool uh so yeah man so that's a theme song um let's see we have some surf okay someone uh tasty snack says surf rock makes me happy but i can't name one band i listen <laughs> to uh the station i can't listen to the station on pandora so you do like a surf rock on pandora oh, yeah surf rock. you know I, and i had a hard time narrowing it down because I, I wanted to pick a surf album that i could listen to all the way through yeah um and i that was one of the reasons like the dick dale stuff there's yeah. a, there's some filler in, yeah. in the you know and um the, well the greatest hits is perfect because it just yeah, kind of gives, yeah. gives you what you need you know yeah yeah and then there's a, another band called um, Man or Astro Man okay. that I was considering. I listened to a lot of surf albums before yeah. I narrowed it down. Wow, but, you did a lot of research. I like that. I did, I did the research. But, yeah, I like uh, that. That's what I like about you. <laughs> so this is uh, technically, a, uh, you know, their big hit or whatever it is, you know, as a, kind of a TV theme song. So, mm -hmm. um, you know... Uh, we'll start with you, Adam. Do you have like a favorite, you know, kind of maybe top two or three TV theme songs? Like what are some of the theme, TV theme <clears throat> songs that come to your head that you you enjoy listening to as like a as a song? Oh, um, 
trying to think of which ones. Uh, I'll go first. The, Sopran- the Sopranos uh, one was always good. Sopranos is great. Yeah. Like uh, they did a reboot just off. The only good part about that reboot was or that it, prequel yeah. was the song when the song came on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time that movie, that Sopranos movie, got interesting when the song came on. You're like, thank God you're playing that because right. nothing else <laughs> just feels like it's Sopranos. Um, yeah, I like Sanford and Son. Um, I think that's I think that's one of the great theme songs. That's Quincy Jones, actually. Um, did uh, Sanford and Son. Um, and uh, what about you, Anthony? Do you have another theme song from a TV show? Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Travel down the road and back again. <laughs> I, love, I love the Golden Girls theme song. Love it. <laughs> Golden Girls, that's favorite. great. Uh, uh, Twitchers, do you have a favorite TV theme song? Uh, so don't, we got, uh, what do you got? Welcome back, Carter. Nice. Mm. Okay, that's a good one. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, that sounds like there's guys who are like over a trash can, you know, like, like just singing that song. Like, I like that. It's oh, and a, you know what? Since we're talking about instrumental yeah. music... Um, two two cartoons that I grew up with, Ren and Stimpy, mm-hmm. Ren and, Stimpy. and Beavis and Butthead, instrumental and Butthead. theme songs. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm trying to think of instrumental theme song. Oh, um, Alf, Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Okay, has a great. I know you guys are going to have no idea who that is. I don't. I, that, I mean, it, I know the it's name. A, it's Barney a great Miller, TV show. It's basically it. what. Um, uh, Brooklyn Nine One One is or whatever. I think it's it's basically. It's that. That's kind of what it is. It's like that was the original, though. It's like a cop. They're cops, but it's a comedy, oh, yeah. that kind of thing. It's really good. Um, you know, Cheers is solid. You oh, know, Cheers is a like, good one. Yeah. I mean, it's a song song, but it's a solid, mm-hmm. you know, solid song. What's happening theme song. Oh, uh, yeah. Somebody said what's happening is that's uh, I don't know if I remember that one. I just remember uh, Raj catching the basketball on the, on the sidewalk. Like I can't yeah. I can't quite get <laughs> oh, the song. Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii Five O. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's surf a rock. One. That's surf yeah, rock. A surf. Yeah, that's a great. Who does that? Je, uh, find out who does that. I feel like is that Dick Dale. I don't know who that is. I, all of those bands did that song at some point. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's they the go to. Yeah, all that the is... instrumental bands covered each other's big hits. So yeah, I, I know yeah, so it's, it's on an album. Y five O is solid. That's a good song. Um, yeah, what else is that? You know, I, the Jeffersons I loved. I'm trying to think of more instrumental. Oh, the Ventures. Those, the Ventures. The Ventures. The Ventures. There you go. That's right. The yeah. Ventures. Um, Ventures. They have a lot of good music. I'm trying to think what other um, theme songs besides Friends that uh, I just <laughs> love. <laughs> I don't know. How to... I'm trying to think of the instrumental. <laughs> oh, there you go. You almost, had it. Are... you almost had it there. Yeah, you almost had it there. I don't know. Theme song, TV theme songs. Um, we're gonna get one more. I'm trying to think what else. You know, what's, you know what's a good Different recent strokes. one? Yeah, that's not They're, bad. Uh, strokes, uh, Adam, what do you got? Uh, no, uh, for a for a recent show, I don't know if you guys watch what we do in the shadows, but um, the, oh, uh, yeah, the song "You're Dead" is a great. Yeah, that's a, uh, good song. a great open. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. That's from uh, from and, the '60s too. And kind of a score, like a soundtrack score, but Game of Thrones is amazing. That opening when, you know, of Game of Thrones, oh, yeah. that music's phenomenal. I feel like that's a, a solid kind of... I'm excited about the prequels or whatever they're doing, the spinoffs or... Oh, they're dragon, doing more Game of dragon. Thrones stuff? Yeah, it's like a, the dragon story or something. Whatever. <laughs> Someone said Knight Rider. There you go. Oh, yeah, Knight Rider. I used to, I used to watch that. And the A-Team, that was a good one. A-team. I think any of those freaking shows. They like... watch. <laughs> they watch. <laughs> the people stand in the darkness. You know the song. <laughs> That's Baywatch Nights. <laughs> Is that Baywatch or Baywatch Nights? That was Baywatch. Because <laughs> Baywatch Nights was the edgy one. I didn't watch Baywatch Nights. Did you know what Nights. Baywatch Night was? Is when the sun went down. That was Baywatch Nights. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Is that uh, uh, David Hasselhoff solving crimes? Is that they watch I nights? Think it was, <laughs> yeah. So House of the Dragon is the new Game of Thrones prequel. And that's definitely that's definitely my nerdy buddy Jay. Um, yeah, that's uh yeah, I'm excited. It'll be good. It's like I feel like when that went off the air, it's like sometimes when good shows go off the air, you feel like uh, it's like when football season's over, you know, you're like, ah, I need something. It's kind of like that, that feeling. But well, uh what you uh what you think of the the ending of Game of Thrones? 
Um, God, that was so long ago. I don't know if I remember it. I think it was good, right? I what? I don't want to. I mean, maybe somebody didn't see it, so you don't want to go into it too much. But I think it was good, right? I don't remember. It was weird though. Everybody it, it, could shit on it. So, yeah, I mean, it was universally hated, right? Yeah, I don't. I mean, most people that hate on things have never written or done anything artistically. You know, I feel like, you know, when people go after endings of shows and things, it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, do you have final draft? Have you ever written a script? You know what I mean? Like the people don't, you know, and maybe and I understand book purists and you know, I get that. But then just read the books. Don't watch the show. How about that? Well, I think <laughs> I think the problem with that, it was just uh, it was just rushed. It, it, it really was it rushed. OK, you needed at least a couple more seasons to kind of flesh it out. And it was the same problem with the Sopranos prequel, too. I think. Yeah. The story was there. It just, it should have been a series. It shouldn't have been a two hour movie. Yeah. I mean, the Sopranos ending was, I didn't care. I thought that was, I think that was funny. I way thought to it was a good it. ending. Yeah. Oh, the, I mean, the, the series, I thought the ending was, was phenomenal. But the movie, oh, the, the movie. I didn't oh, watch yeah. the movie. I yeah. heard it was bad, but yeah, um, that's good. Well, they play the theme song at some point. So that's when it actually is gratifying. <laughs> You're like, oh, I miss that song. I, I feel like that's a, uh, that song didn't hold up. You know, I I I rewatched re the show more recently, and I was like, man, the theme song is it's got to go. What song? For the Sopranos. You don't like it? I don't like it. Oh, dude, what's wrong with you? That's a great. <laughs> that's a great song. Like when you're in a car, dude, listen to it when you're in a car. Not that you'll be. Maybe when you're in an Uber. Just oh, listen yeah. to it. <laughs> down the window. Roll it like I, this, because when the windows, they're bringing this back. The little crank on the window. But roll down the window. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be driving through Jersey. See, Adam knows yeah. he, oh, yeah. he drives to Jersey all the time. So he loves that song. That's a dude. Yeah. That's a good song. It's uh, it's, it's perfect for like what the show is. And that's the thing with a the theme song. You got to have something that works with the show. Like that song lyrically, it's just like, you know, give myself a good, like it just works. It works for that show. So you can be, you can't be hard on something if it works, obviously they knew what they were doing, but I, I but you don't have to like it. I just think, you know, I don't know. I don't think you've given it a chance. <laughs> you've even watched The Sopranos, Anthony? Yeah. No, you haven't. All of them? All of them. Really? Okay. Well, watch the movie. Let us know what you think. Yeah. I, mean, I, right. I planned on it, but... Uh, okay. I didn't no get big deal. To it. All right, folks. Well, this has been our show. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. And uh, look for us out there. Like, follow us, man. Check out our Patreon page. We're trying to make a couple of bucks in this, so I can buy more fedoras. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and Anthony can get, you know, better health insurance. And we're just really, we're trying to do it here. And then Adam can actually be paid for his time. Right. So uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing this uh, a Patreon page coming out soon. But check us out in the meantime on our Facebook and our Instagram and all that fun stuff. And uh, thank you for listening to Dustin's Vinyl. And, uh, you know, we uh, Jeff really missed out because we uh, we had no idea. Once he finds out that you've seen Pat Benatar live, it's going to be a whole level. He's going to lose his mind. Him. He really is. He'll lose <laughs> his mind. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening to Dustin's Vinyl. Rock it out. Support record stores. And uh, good night. I'm playing it again. Play it. Three minutes he learned this.